What is going on, Sasses and Templars? I don't know if I should play this game. Yeah, I'll play this game first. Thinking I should play Life is Strange first. No, I'll play this. Okay, I'm gonna make this as bright as possible. Because I've seen how dark this game can be. Traditional, what's motion like then? Eh, traditional. Confirm. I, um, is this the type of game for me this is? So I listen to a lot horror stories. I don't like horror films, but I like horror stories and stuff. I don't really care if fake or not. I do listen to a lot of actually, yeah, true horror stories, guys. I just like them, because they're creepy, you know, monsters and whatever. Ghosts. Whatever goes on. Okay, um, satins. Brightness. Okay, subtitles on. Um. Brightness. Okay, yeah, I think that's okay. Control options, audio. Okay, dialogue. I'll turn the music down a little bit. Just in case it's copyrighted, like I always do. Confirm. Um. Yeah, okay. The story then. Now, if you guys have uh, a tiny butterfly flap in the swings today, really to devastate the hurricane weeks on. Like, this is how you play the game, you know. I think Until Dawn is one of those games which actually had a choice system in it, where it actually can't change. It's one of those things where the choices do lead to different endings. And if if you guys I don't know, watch my Twitter or something like that, if you look at all the videos I like, and if you know what happens in this game, then you know this is my type of game. So like stuff like this. No, I I um I remember watching this the gameplay for this back E three way back when. I think I think since 2014, so. Ever since it's been ever since it's been 50 now, I think I've been watching all the E3 streams. Before I just watched the clips online. Really. I didn't really stay up late to watch E3 live like, streams. The only time I did stay up late is to play games really online. Played a lot of Transformer games back in the day. Wolf the side of China and all that. I don't know if any other games have used motion capture since this one. I think it's just the last game that used motion capture in the past five years now, I think. Hannah! <laughs> She's here! Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay. So we're controlling her now. Okay, I don't quite remember what happens in this game since it's been a while since I watched the walkthrough of it. And I did just buy this recently because it's on. S it was, well, yeah, because I wanted to. Because it's not. A, it's not. The price is quite low on it now. And stuff. I do enjoy horror games and horror stories, but horror movies are not my thing, really. I do like um, the alien movies, but that's about it. This is sci-fi, of course, and like shit like that. It's my type of thing, really. Oh 
Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you came back. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Hmm. <laughs> Just take off your top. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh, uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! It's just Hannah. Wick Josh find others. Oh right, it's just like a um I think Josh is out of here, so let's go find others. I think there's no point of waking up Josh. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay. Oh, shit! Safe, safe. See, that's not quite fast. That, that would be me. Follow footprints, follow noise, follow footprints. I gotta use my controller. I don't wait. They just come off for the Xbox yeah. and what? Is it like a PlayStation exclusive? I don't remember. Oh my god! So spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Mm 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 mm. Selfie. <laughs> Holy shit! There's a lot of deers in this game. Are you sure there's not any skinwalkers in this game? Hello? Hello? Well, that is a preferred form of a skinwalker, anyway. We'll see. At the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. Uh. Death told him. Yeah, he just needs to predict like the future, don't he? I forgot to do that. Huh? Hannah! I think there's like red ones and yellow ones. Here, take my coat. Yeah. I'm such an idiot. I'm so 
Because she's wearing something from Walmart. I, I know what's going on now. I remember. Obviously at the beginning of the game you don't know what's going on. But you know more if you go across the game. I know what's going on. Hold on! <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Okay. Let's go, Golf Hammer. I have no idea. No, except this hand, he's a good guy. He's actually a good guy, which you later find out. This is a good guy, the guy with the flamethrower. Division, I'll tell you about later. If you guys haven't seen or played this game in any way. Division's not his. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Hmm? <clears throat> All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I'm not sure, actually. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think? A bit uneasy, because it's out in the middle of nowhere. Out in nowhere. No, no the skate course is fine. It's in the middle of nowhere, really. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? And is this threat human or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? An inhuman threat. Is that fascinating? Ah, oh, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. 
We've run out of time. He's out in the middle of nowhere, see, ain't he? And the last story to listen to. That's just the worst place to be. No, uh, it's just copyrighted or something now. Uh. Nice song, don't get me wrong, it's just going along for like three minutes now, ain't it? Okay, so obviously you're going to see a lot of Native, Native American stuff Since this is set in the Native American area And it's based on the law of it, I won't tell you what it's based on Be cool if we had one more than one Native American monster or creature of ghost or spirit or whatever. I like multiple of them. Like Skinwalker or whatever. As well. She see I did see a lot of Today is the here. one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place and on Mount Washington. That is, that is that is that is that is Thanks for having me, Mark. If they know themselves, on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there yeah. is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Hmm. <laughs> you go, dude. What's your feature? Very fast. There you go, mine and fire. I can just go by do some things. You think all old games now? It's not really any new games interesting, interesting looking for me this year. Twenty seventeen. Mm, there's Call of Duty again here, and of course Spider-Man came out uh, this year. There's not coming next year now, so I'll definitely play this year. 
2016, 2017, kind of been boring years for games for me, but 2018 just looks past this year. Like 2015, 2015 and 2018 were the two years past the games I want to get. This year and last year, kind of a bit of dry years. Not that many wanted to get. Like, obviously, I played Crash recently, which was my childhood anyway. That is the good guy. He has a knife to protect himself against stuff. Diligent, considerate, adventurous, and his best friend. I need no one actor. Oh, I only know two actors in this actually. I know the dude from iRobot, but I never actually seen iRobot on his like trace and stuff. I know the other dude from Agent of Shield, which I still watch this day. I've been a big fan of the Marvel Universe since 2008, since Iron Man 1. I've just been watched in there since then. Cause I knew who Iron Man was before he was in the movies and stuff. I knew what, uh, who Thor was and how it was because I w watched some of the old shows and the animated shows and stuff. The 80s and 90s TV shows. Oh, what? Crime over. Oh, Jesus, no. Doesn't look broken. Oh, it's quick actually. So I know this one doesn't really have any consequences. From what I remember. Yeah. So I know that one doesn't have any bad things happen to you. Didn't know. Okay, I guess so. This is for when scary parts <laughs> happen. Okay, head to the car cable car station. <clears throat> this sprint button? No. I'm trying the trigger buttons, you know, the back buttons, but they don't work. <laughs> cool. Death, danger, loss, guidance, fortune. So the yellow and the white ones are good. And the red ones are actually because it warns you and as well. The brown and the black ones are the ones you want to avoid most likely. Let's just predict us we can avoid something like that. Okay. Okay, it's yellow. Guidance total. That's for later when we play someone else. Chris, are you here? Maybe there's more totems around. If it's not, it's cut. 
Well, it might, might not be that f far of an area to look. The pass is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Hey. So I'm not going to be a thingy, but yeah. There's a backpack, but yeah. Bags here, where are you? Not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Has a crush on Ashley. P protective and humorous. What is mythological? That's all it says. Mythological. I don't know. Humorous. Uh, Chris you. seems like my I'm type of dude. Sorry, oh, Tommy, Chris. I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Mm. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. Yep, Chris is my type of dude. going to blow your mind. You'll be like, blah, 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 blah. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Oh, Does anyone actually say rad? Because uh, I never said rad in my life. That comes to my I say do the law. What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? I'm gonna say yeah. cooler law. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright. Here goes. No, trust me, guns are really useful to use. Okay, so what now? Wow, nice little tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go and <laughs> guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. It's a bit cringy then, but still. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, squirrel! <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Right, I'm just gonna leave that episode there. Eh? Okay, so these are all the choices we've got so far. So, yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to slash the like button, subscribe to the end of the day. If you guys like these horror games, I might play more in the future, because I really enjoy horror games. And, you know what? I'm a big fan of horror in overall. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Might play Alien Isolation next. Or something like that. But um, yeah, peace.